Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In case you missed the first episode, you can watch it here. If you don't want to watch it, I'll just give you a quick recap of what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to build a uh, Formula 1 car collection consisting of um, only the world champions. The scale would be 1 to 43. I'm trying to spend less than 2,000 pounds. And um, yeah, let's see how it goes. We got some mail this week, so let's open it and let's review it. I think it's already open. I got this amazing job lot. We have um, 11 world champions already. Some of the cars here are a bit uh, dusty, battered, missing parts and pieces. But crucially, almost all the world champions are intact. We have to glue um, a rear wing on the Jody Schechter car and a mirror on the Ferrari 2003. Michael Schumacher one, but all in all, this is a really, really good pickup. Before we review these cars, let's see more news. Got a delivery from IKEA. The super shiny display cabinets are here. A few moments later. Definitely recommend wearing some gloves when dealing with such uh, shiny surfaces. Now I've done a bit of research online and I found these acrylic shelves. They are a really nice addition for um, the display cabinet. Adds obviously more space so you can you can store more cars, but also it looks better when with, with the extra shelves added. You need to add some sort of tape between the door and the side wall, otherwise dust will come in, there's a lot of space. Oh, and make sure when you put the things together to leave enough space between the plastic and the glass. All the time you have to leave a space. Great, let's review some cars. Let's take a look at these cars in uh, no particular order. We start with uh, Niki Lauda. As you can see, this is the 77 car. I think they've done a really good job here with the details on the side pod. The mirrors are a bit plasticky, the exhaust is again plasticky, but um, the rear wing and the front wing, I think they're really good. Overall, they're really good value for money. I thought I would um, I would get the Mini Champs version for these cars. Actually, I fell in love with them, so probably we'll, um, we'll keep them. Now, the next one is the Kimi Raikkonen 2007, and again, I thought this would be rubbish, but <laughs> actually it's really good quality, but again, by EXO. Um, I probably will replace this with the Hot Wheels um, model. I just want to have Kimi Raikkonen, one, Kimi Raikkonen, one of my favorite drivers, with the helmet on. The next car is the um, 1958, obviously the first Brit who became world champion with Ferrari. Again, some really good details here. The seat, the wheels, the front grid um, radiator. I think it's really good. Um, yeah, really good value for money. Next up is Phil uh, Hill, uh, the US driver who became world champion with Ferrari, the famous sharp nose, some really good details here on the exhaust. Again, good details on the interior. Again, Ixo surprises me um, time and time again. I've never had Ixo cars before, but they do look really good. Now here's, um, here's a few things to spice things up. We have um, an Ixo and we have a Hot Wheels Elite. Guess which one's which? Yes, you've nailed it. <laughs> if you saw any difference, good good job there. Um, I personally don't see a lot of difference. I think they're there or they're about maybe some better details on the Hot Wheels car, but I don't think they, it's worth the money. The um, Fangio Ferrari, I think it's it's a really good one. Um, the, the colors and everything. I think the car design makes makes this car amazing after all. Um, yeah, what else we have? The 2023 Mike Michael Schumacher. We had to fix a uh, front. Uh, was we had to fix here what a mirror I think, or a f or a rear spoiler or something. But anyway, the it turns out it turned out to be great. We will still we will sell this car, and um, I will get the um, Michael Schumacher 2003 from uh, from from Hot Wheels. Cool. Now this is a car that we had to fix. We had to reattach the um, the rear uh, wing. I think it came out a bit weird. Definitely getting the Mini Champs version for uh, for this car is one of my favorite cars. Definitely will be in a Mini Champs version soon. And we have this uh, RBA, which I think I'm gonna keep. This is Fangio's Mercedes, first one Mercedes, and it's really nice. It's really good. It feels solid. Good good quality build. And yeah, all in all, um, it's definitely a keeper. Now that we see um, the entire lineup, I'm really, I'm really happy with this pickup. I think we started in a, in a really good place. We have already 11 world champions, and we're gonna close some money back with the cars that we don't need. 
and definitely take it with both hands. This is a very, very special moment right now, putting all the cards in the display cabinet. I think it looks great. Um, definitely the start of something special. Let me know in the comment section if you like this um, episode, then uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now. Bye.